building a AAA game like Forza Horizon 4 all on your own would be impossible. However, what you can do is try to understand how it is built. If you've been around my channel for some time now, you might have seen the previous episode of this series. Right from the beginning, where we explained the terrain system, how massive terrains can be called providing a smooth frame rate. After that, we've shown the responsive UI, and we built that using nothing more than the Unity tools. And lastly, we built the car physics, right from the wheel colliders all the way over to the customization. And what better way to end it all than adding joystick controls in it. So this is our game working normally with the keyboard. Now what we're going to do is go to edit project settings. And then in here we can find our input manager. Okay, this is how I've set it up. I've set the vertical axis to the 10th axis. Now what this means is that the 10th axis controls the right and left triggers. Using that you can accelerate with the right trigger and the left trigger and obviously deaccelerate. Now one last thing that I want to show in this video is you might have seen my personal project you're gonna see a on-screen joystick. So if we click that we're gonna see a on-screen joystick that appears for mobile devices. So obviously this works just like a normal joystick if I can get out of this cave. So basically how it works is that it takes a y-axis and it transmits it to the input manager. And obviously we have some buttons in here to control the speed of the vehicle. Now if you want to implement this, I suggest going and downloading this package from the package manager. And if you download this package, you're going to have a UI button that looks exactly like this. Now inside that button, you're going to see a script attached to it called the BL joystick. Now you don't have to do anything in here. You can straight up close it. To take the input from the BL joystick script, we're going to use this function. And all that function does is it takes the input from the joystick as a horizontal input. Obviously, we just want the horizontal and it passes it into the input manager. And obviously, input manager takes care of all the inputs in our game. And the result is a very usable UI system. So that's about it for this video. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. I hope you learned something from it. I've been in a break for a little while. I've had exams. I hope you don't mind. And I'll see you in the next videos.